Hey guys, uh, Lea Kimoli here. Um, a couple of weeks I'll be heading back to his son who's um, playing Super Rugby. Um, this is definitely my final year at Auckland, so um, yeah. Uh, I've played uh, seven years with Auckland. Um, I think my first two years were back in 08. I was actually still in school, actually training with the team, just in and out, but finally made it professionally in 2010. Um, played with guys like um, Angus Tava, who's at the Waratahs now, uh, Sean Powell, who's actually our defensive coach, which is, which is quite weird. Um, but yeah, um, I've got a lot of highlights um, with Auckland. Um, definitely my first game against North Harbour. That's one of the games I remember for a long time um, playing against. I was playing with guys like Brent Ward, uh, Onosai Iovata, uh, Chris Lurie, uh, a lot of those guys, Tita Milo. Um, I could go on and on. But yeah, my first game, played five minutes, came on for a forward pass to Onosai Iovata. Thought he scored in the corner, but he didn't. So now I remember that. Also, just the, a lot of the, the guys that I played with. Um, over the years, the different personalities. Um, one guy that actually stands out, and it's probably surprising, is um, Simon Hickey. Um, a young guy who shows a lot of potential as a leader, um, even though he's 21, or 21 or 22. Man, oh, you know, he's been a great leader for Auckland. He's stepped up, and uh, um, he's one of the guys I've enjoyed playing with. Also guys like uh, Daniel Bray, um, and just the mentally tough guy that you know puts you on the spot and even though he means good but it feels like he's coming at you but yeah um, what else did, um, semi-finals finals you know, probably one thing I do regret is uh, not winning the championship um, was part of the main reason why I actually did come back this year I wanted to actually go out on a bang but yeah, it is what it is um, I know that Auckland's in good stead for the future. There's a lot of the young guys all coming through. Tom McHugh, a great prop. Um, Marcel, Renata. Um, who else? Oh, the two uh, Ioni brothers. No, they've man, fantastic talent. Um, if Auckland keep them and build a team around them, uh, there'll be plenty of championships. So, no, I'm definitely going to miss Auckland. Uh, always going to be my home. Hopefully, one day I can return, but I'm doubting that. So. <laughs> <clears throat> There's definitely a lot of thank yous and a lot of people that I want to thank. Um, firstly, uh, the supporters club. Um, a lot of people don't know, but they've helped me in a big way with the scholarship when I came out of school. I wasn't their richest kid, I wasn't, you know, but I worked hard and with their financially backing me, um, it made it, everything easier for me. And I'm, and I'm I'm here today because of those guys. Um, you know, the guys in the background, the Auckland staff, everybody up top, uh, Andy Dalton, a lot of people criticise him, but um, he's played a big part of my um, rugby career. Um, the coaches that I've been with, um, Wayne Pivak, um, Paul Finney, Nick White, um, management of Auckland, um, and also the players as well. Um, we've got a strong brotherhood in Auckland, and, um, I think I'll, I'll hold that brotherhood for a long time. Uh, but yeah, and also my family. Uh, my mom has been the rock. And, uh, um, I've been through some tough, tough times, some th dark times, and um, she's always been there for me. So and a lot of thanks goes to her and also my partner, my partner Yoko, and my little girl Amir. So um, and also the supporters can't forget the supporters. No, the diehard supporters have been there since day one. So. Uh, thank you to the Auckland Water family. Yeah.